In this example, we are going to draw a line at the bottom representing the floor. And we can do that. Our rise is seven and a half inches. We will make a mark as shown in the picture here, which of course will give us this. And we're going to actually start from this. So I'm going to line up the one inch mark on the tape measure with the bottom. Um, and this would also be lining the eight and a half inch mark up at the top which um, uh, provides us with a better way to lay out a more accurate detail instead of using the part of the tape that you hook over um, the lumber while you're using it. I believe it's called the tongue on the tape. And then we are going to subtract the base plate and the tread, which the base plate is an inch and a half and the thick, it's going to be a two by four, and the thickness of the tread which is three quarters of an inch which will be two and a quarter inches. Now remember since we killed an inch we're going to need to make the necessary modifications with the tape measure. So if you're going to kill an inch and you're going to add two and a quarter inches to it then you're going to need to subtract the inch or add the inch in either direction. So here we're going to be adding the inch so uh, it will be three and a quarter inches as shown in the picture here. So this is a big problem for um, using this method. And I've had to deal with it uh, for a long time or the consequences of it. So be careful using it. Make sure that you double check everything, every measurement after you've made it. Then line the framing square up with the marks you've made. Draw your line and you are done. You might be done, but like I said, double check everything. Put the uh, tape measure back on there and measure it in a few different sections. Measure it like this with the uh, edge of the tape and then kill the inch and uh, double check everything. And you are done.